Hey folks, today I'm going to show you guys how to sign apps for your bypass iPhone without the need to sign into the app store. So let's get it. So for starters, I'm going to show you guys that I am not signed into the iCloud. And my phone is on airplane mode. Now I'm going to back out and go into the app store. We're going to download a game and see if he actually downloads and access to install. Nothing happens, all it does is buffer. And we were rejected. So we're gonna back out and we're gonna go into Syria. It's actually trying to install updates. Okay, tap into sources. And you want to add app kick. So once you add the app kick repos, click done. Go to all packages and make sure you find the version that is actually compatible with your iOS. Usually uh, the app will let you know if it's compatible with your phone or your tablet Make sure you do not install one, the one that's not compatible if it says and uh, not compatible Please don't install it because it's gonna crash your springboard and you're gonna have to um, Format your phone all over again So once you install the app Open app cake and search for the app that you want there's a bunch of premium apps here that you can get as well as many free ones the ones that you cannot find you have two options either you go online and you download them or you can request on the actual app kick app and see if they update it for you in our case we're going to use google voice and we're going to download it Once that's done, we go to the file manager section. Oh, it's still downloading, so we're gonna have to be, we're gonna have to wait a little more. So it just gives me a chance to tell you guys about this part. Do you see the extension IPA? It is similar to the Android APK. That means those are the extension that you can actually look up to find any app that you want. And you can always download apps outside of your iPhone and simply import it into this app cake and then install it. So Google is your friend. Okay, the app is done downloading. Now we're going to click on the download section and we can install it. You can see whether that it was signing. We click on install. And voila. The bigger the file, the longer it takes. So just be patient. We're going to click on the home button and we're going to check our home screen. And there you go. The app is installed and it works. So this is actually one or two methods that I use 
I think this app, uh, this method is old school and is actually the most reliable one. So if you like videos like this, I'm gonna make another one for you guys, a more simple method. So thank you for watching and subscribe to MS Tech for more videos. Thank you.